morning guys we're uh, out here in Baffin Bay it's a foggy morning probably about a five mile an hour wind we're getting ready to get some stiff southeast winds I believe it's gonna be blowing about 20 so we're gonna hit up with some rock piles and a little sand flat real quick throw some tops maybe some jigs see if we can't get a big trout and see if uh, they're there and then if not we're gonna shoot to the south side and work some sand pockets some grass edges some more rock piles and uh, we're gonna grind it and see if we can't find a big girl yeah you've been on some good fish the last few days uh, weather really hasn't changed that much has it nah yeah. just it's, uh, it's, we have lightly shifting winds yeah. which and then some high pressure but we got high pressure again today so uh, yeah, I think there's a front is there a front tomorrow it's Two? tomorrow yeah. or after lunch it's coming in and so they they got to feed either today or in the morning it's, yeah. it's whether whether we're there at the right time or not yeah, hopefully we can catch them before that wind kicks up and gets a little nasty out there mm-hmm yes sir Good Chris deal. no it's at least it's warmed up it's not yeah. as cold as it was the last couple of days so yeah waking up in uh, 38 degrees ain't too fun yeah. <laughs> we got we got till about lunchtime then it's gonna get pretty ugly out there so so, all right, we got the boat for it, so oh, yeah. we'll, we'll see what's up. Yes, sir. Well, all right. Let's get out there and go see if we can't snag one. Go do it. First fit. working above a rock pile. Swamped it. They're not even they're not even coming like all the way up at it. They're swirling. They're swirling right under it. fish. Good eater. Dude, look at the body on this little fish. This little fish. <laughs> Seventeen inches. Oh yeah, look. Dude probably has an eight inch mullet in his <laughs> tail sticking out, yeah. Alright man. Well good luck with that. Hope you can sell it. Yeah, he's got a friend. Same rock, different fish. Mm -hmm. 
Right in the roof of the mouth. They're getting a little bigger, Jimmy. Come here, Jimmy. Boy, slippery. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at these. A solid fish. Those are probably inch, inch and a half fillets on a 18, 19 incher. And just smacking it. Good fish. Yeah. Got the lice on the bottom hanging out. Right by the rock. Yeah. Oh, Lily. Come on down. Hey. Gotcha. Smack it to Corky. Let's call your grandma or something. Get a big one. Mmm. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm busy. <laughs> My fish ain't spitting the trebles. <laughs> you know, Larry. Oh, <laughs> oh, there it was. Spit it. <laughs> right when he was getting ready to say something. <laughs> oh, I was gonna let you have it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure you were cocked though. He had that fish in his hand. <laughs> I ate it. You know, Larry. You want to finish that seat? If you work really hard, you study, put the time in, <laughs> one day you might be as good as Wayne Davis. Wayne Davis is still chasing me. Hey Jimmy, you done looking at Chris's cute little fish over there? That was a triple hookup. Yep. <laughs> uh, hook up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut his mouth. <laughs> uh, and I'm wondering if I'm gonna fix this one. Texas chicken. Solid little baby. Good fish.
third spot today. Wind's starting to pick up. And uh, I've been fishing a grass bed, throwing this bone diamond wiggle, just slowly dragging it. And my line went slack, set the hook, and we got some good head shaking. Just look, look at the belly on this fish. And if you look, still got the tail sticking out. Awesome. Yep, about five and a half. All right, everybody, we're uh, back at the boat stores getting ready to put Captain Christmas' boat up. We had to hurry up and get out of there. That, that wind blew in like you talked about and uh, made for a, a sporty ride in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're starting to get a little bit of rain. I don't know if you can see it on the video yet, but uh, pretty good day on the water. Caught a lot of fish. Yeah, uh, first spot, I mean, we must have caught probably about 30 fish, and a lot of them were 15 to 20, 21 inches and thick. They were all solid one inch fillets, thick. Second spot, wasn't so sporty. Uh, there was bait everywhere, but no fish. Yeah. And then uh, we went back to a third spot and fished a grass line and stuck a good, I think it was about 23 inches, but it was a five and a half pound trout. You'll see in the video, it was fat. Yeah. Still, and I think what, three of the fish today we caught had tails sticking out of the mouth. Yeah. They were still trying to dissolve everything they ate a couple days ago. And that last spot we fished, that really wasn't the spot you wanted to necessarily go to, but it's based off the conditions. Knew the wind was going to kick up and we could get some more fishing time on that end, that, that more protected end over there. And, you know, caught a five pounder out of it. So, And, you know, and then y'all saw as the wind picked up, yeah. we, lost, we lost that water quality quick. Yeah, it was yeah. bad. We, but we, you're playing against the minutes. clocks. Yeah, we hopped out, thought we'd fish some potholes, and uh, you couldn't see them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Within minutes. 10 minutes, they were gone. Yeah. So uh, before it got worse, we headed in, and good thing we did because now we're starting to get some rain. Yeah. But uh, overall, it was it was a good bite this morning, oh, yeah. and paid off in that last spot. Yeah, most consistent bite, maybe ball tails. Uh, we're yeah. getting top water action, corkies. Uh, and then as the bite died down, the wiggle seemed yeah. to, seem to yeah. get some uh, strikes from them. But past couple of weeks, as soon as that ball tail bite dies down, and just slow drag a wiggle yeah. that's they've been swamping it. So uh, it's been uh, good. But we'll get back over here hopefully before the end of February. But uh, good day in the water. And oh, yeah. if you want, if you want to come check out Baffin or the Upper Laguna. Captain Michael Crispin, we'll have his information linked in the description of the video. Just check it out, and then you can follow him on Instagram and Facebook and things like that, too. Yeah, give me a call or a text, and let's get out on the water. All right, see you on the next one. Have a good one.